we're going on a field trip. We're going to the restaurant supply store. And this is along the water, but sometimes you can't see it because there's stuff built there, you know. So we live across the water from here. We're coming into Bremerton now, which is where the Navy base is. And if we go that way, are we going that way? And then I will show you the ships. These railroad tracks here, if you can see them, I don't think they're used very often. They're, I think they're mostly for the Navy to transport things to their ships. And that's coming up here in a minute. There we go. Here's the ships for the Navy. Some of them are in mothballs. Some of them are being redone. And you probably can't see very well. There's a, a lot of glare for me anyway. I'm putting on like we're tourists. My husband turned around for me because we took a wrong turn so we could see this. Everybody give him an applause. <laughs> I do appreciate him. Two of my kids work over here, not on the water. Well, one does but one is in an office. There's lots more you just can't see because they've got things in the way, probably on purpose. That is a steam stack. It looks like pollution, but it's just steam. Hi everybody, I'm Kendra and this is Kendra Full of Joy and I have a, what was supposed to be a small haul Friday. Okay, I went to three places. Uh, I mainly went because I wanted chicken, because I'm not buying chicken at Walmart anymore, and because I wanted a chuck roast. Okay, so it took three places to find it. I went to Grocery Outlet, I went to Minder Meats, and I went to a place, I just call it the Restaurant Supply Store. I'll start with, oh, and I went to Grocery Outlet, did I say that? Yeah, Grocery Outlet first. I got a big bunch of onions, and these are for the uh, fajitas that I'm making tonight, chicken fajitas, I just feel like it. I feel like it needs to be done. And then there's some more of the sodas. There's one, two, three, four. They go out in the can. And I got, I think this is four. Yeah, it's just four of the Shabani Zero. And I'm really liking that flavor. Berries. And then I found a really good deal on this chicken. And I've never bought this brand before. But it's premium white. And so I'll use that for recipes, you know, two cans of it. And for stock up. You just need it, you know, in case the stuff hits the fan. I got another. Pardon me. I did not mean to drop you that way. <laughs> I got another container of um, half and half because I just have a swish left in what I had. And it's, um, it's going to expire on the 22nd, but maybe it'll be used by then. So this is pineapple. This is, I think, strawberry. And then this is just a regular Coke. And is that it that I got at... No. I also got this chicken there. So boneless, skinless, and I'm just going to you know, put that in a pan and fry it up and get it for it. And then got some pretzels for my honey because he drove me all over the county and I got some giant beautiful strawberries some bananas and some of those for also for the fajitas tonight so that's that for that trip now we'll go on to the restaurant supply place where I scored a whole bunch of just salad tomatoes you know these are what we're using for the uh, fajita tonight, though, because I didn't have full size. And I'm just going to cut them in half and call them good. Got some romaine, hearts of romaine. Some beautiful uh, peppers. I think those were $3.99 for the bag, so $4 for all of them. Hey, you know what? That was at Grocery Outlet, come to think of it, and I was so impressed. Yeah, Grocery Outlet had those. Here is a giant bag of frozen, so far they're frozen, onion rings. That are, they're, you know, really good ones. And a big container of mushrooms. Those are mainly for me. <laughs> I think that is all that I actually bought except for, I'm going to, oh, sweet potatoes. got two sweet potatoes also at uh, Grocery Outlet. I like to bake those and just have them now and then. I didn't show you a spoon. 
This is an awesome, heavy one piece. It's not, you know, like it's just carved out of one piece. So it was a really good deal. It was $1.99. And it was also at Grocery Outlet. Now I will show you the Minders meat that I picked up while I was at Minders Butcher Shop in Bremerton, Washington. Really nice in there. It's clean, it's friendly. Had a good time looking around. The reason I went to Minders instead of Farmer George is I was already over there. So, you know, they asked me, did I want a five pound or a three pound? I said a five pound and they brought this out to me and it's really, it's a good looking thing. So, uh, shout out to Minders Meats. We have a steak. We have a steak in your, in your fun. I get it. <laughs> in your future. We have a steak in your future. Two ways. Okay, maybe if I ever, I don't see how I would stock my freezer with meat, like, you know, get a half a pig or a half a cow or something, but I don't think I ever will do that. Maybe I would go to Minder for sure. And so I think that is all I'm going to show you today. I'm going to back up and show you the trip there and some of the sites. It's not that much to see, but you'll see it. And um, if you like what you saw, Small Hall Fridays. Let me see what the information for that. I'll write it down. Hi everybody, this is part of the video that I have today with Friday Halls at, um, I'm going to put the information of who's hosting this, but anyway, I have a quick question. The other day, I got some chicken at a store, and I won't name it because I can't afford a lawsuit, <laughs> but it was, it was bad, it was very bad, <laughs> and uh, I looked up some pictures of what it looked like. And it is actually a thing, and it is called, in some places, called spaghetti chicken. The reason for that is when you go to cut it and process it to cook it, it shreds, just shreds against your fingers, raw, it shreds. Um, and apparently, <clears throat> that chicken is called spaghetti chicken because so many people are calling it that just out of the blue. It comes, people are saying... From certain processors and I don't know who they are feeding their chickens uh, basically as much protein or something that it makes them grow twice as fast but it compromises the meat really badly I was actually texting with some one of you I won't say her name while I was doing this and I was telling her, this is the worst chicken I've ever seen. What's wrong with this chicken? What's, you know, and I even said at one point, if it barked at me, I wouldn't be surprised. It looked that bad. So anyway, I'm not getting my chicken at that store anymore. I am getting my chicken elsewhere. And today I got it at Grocery Outlet. And it looks fine. It looks like regular chicken. So it's not just me. I thought, well, maybe I've developed an aversion before I looked it up. So anyway... Uh, my curiosity here is at, is to ask you all, have you ever heard of spaghetti chicken or seen this shredding of raw chicken as you're trying to get it together to cook? Um, have you heard of anybody else finding it in their chicken? And again, I'm not going to mention stores or anything. I don't know, you know, where if maybe it's only here in Washington State where I live. I don't know. But anyway, this chicken is getting processed right now for chicken fajitas for dinner. And that was my question for you. I would love to hear from you about your chicken. Okay. I'm so sorry. I gave you the wrong name. It's Friday Halls, hashtag Friday Halls. And it's hosted by Life. Let me make sure. Life with Lois, L-O-I-S. And I'm going to put that in the description below so that you can see it. You can see all the netting that we've got up to keep the dogs from getting picked off by owl and coyote and whatever else while they're on the back deck. What a mess. <laughs> she loves laying in the sun. Okay, now I'm going to let you go. If you stayed this long, I hope you consider subscribing. Take care, everybody. Bye.